it's the feeling abroad that uh, something has to be done, not to stop the Premier League. Well done on them having investors and selling the product better than anybody. No problem with that. It's just that how, how can all we get close to that? It feels to me the Premier League is just flying away from everyone and it's not... Well, I, I'd like to disagree with that because we're talking about a team, namely you're talking about Real Madrid. This is a team who for years have just come to the Premier League and cherry-picked the best players, whoever they want, whether it be Cristiano Ronaldo, Xabi Alonso at my club, Barcelona taking Mascarano. That's what Real Madrid did. And they've always done that. They've always attracted the best players in the world who've gone there. So notoriously before what you're talking about has happened in the Premier League right now, Real Madrid had the most money. Mm -hmm. And then it was absolutely fine. I'm not judging that the Premier League are doing the wrong thing. What I'm doing, what I'm saying yeah, is that you're actually... Being an even, making it an even league. It be it's, never been even, it's never been even before, because Barcelona and Real Madrid have always took the best players in the world from every other club. So you agree with the unevenness of it? Or do we... There's this, this situation which I find a little bit... is the word hypocritical. In the Premier League, everybody's proud of having a league in which the money is distributed evenly and makes the competition better, doesn't it? We agree yeah. on that. But then when it comes to Europe, you ask the Premier League, we could ask the Premier League clubs to say, should we do that even as well in Europe? It's the same sport in England. Why should and the Premier League do that for the rest of Europe? Just for the same reason that it will become more competitive, more, more interesting. Competitive. You're talking about a team who won the Champions League 14 times. Yes. So in the whole history, in the 50s, they won it five years in a row. Where, where was the sort of balance then? What would Real Madrid do for other teams then when they were at that point? By the way, there was not all so the much. Players? There was some. There wasn't so much financial differences between Madrid and the rest. It was just a sporting matter. They had the Stefano and Gento and Puskas, and they managed to win it. We want to go to back. Back to that, don't we? We want to go to a place you where there's no back one to by when the best Real Madrid had the most money. <laughs> You're talking about the Premier League being competitive. <laughs> Real Madrid and Barcelona don't look after their own clubs in their own league. And, but you want help off the Premier League. You take all the, the, most, the money from the TV. I'm not Real Madrid representative or Barcelona representative. I, I Real thought Madrid, you were Florentino Perez. <laughs> Do the same thing. Do the same thing.